Hello everybody, it feels really weird not starting a video in the morning. It's actually super late for me to be starting a vlog. It is 20 past three and as you can see, I have no makeup on right now. I'm about to throw some makeup on to my face. I actually, whilst I'm doing it, I'm gonna be transferring my makeup from one makeup bag to another because I have a new makeup bag and I'm very excited about it. But I also have a date night tonight, which will be my first date night, I think, since before Christmas because I went to the same restaurant and had a camembert burger. Mm. So good. Ryan and I are going to Honest Burger tonight. It's our anniversary, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna show you my flowers in a bit. They need a bit more arranging, to be honest. I haven't done the best job. I'm really particular about my floral arrangements. So I need to like, judge them a little bit, but they are so beautiful. And I'll show you what I got him because I still need to wrap it. Basically, I've just been super crazy busy this week. So I am so last minute on everything. I also don't know what I'm gonna wear, so I'm gonna go through my outfits with you and you can't help me choose sadly <laughs> one of the first times that i am not organized so you definitely can't help me choose but you can watch me making the decision process which will maybe be frustrating for you if you're like screaming no this one at the tv screen or phone screen or laptop screen whichever you're watching on what do you watch on let me know but anyway i have a new hoodie as you can see i made a glossy order so i thought i would show you that because i have the new makeup pouch i didn't get sent this in PR, sadly. But I bought it myself. Basically, no one has my address anymore, so I don't really get sent anything, which is fine. I'm living a peaceful life, but this is my new makeup bag. It's sent you. So from what I hear, this has a lot of pockets. Let's see. I've got one on the front. I feel like that's good for if you want, like, if you're traveling and you want to just stick your brushes in there whilst you're, like, getting ready and have, like, a little holder set up, but you don't actually have a brush holder with you. You know the vibe? Ooh, I really like that. I love pink and red it's one of my favorite color combos sadly one that i don't get to enjoy very much because i'm a neutral lover in life but i really like this this reminds me of actually is it removable i was gonna say it reminds me of my bag organizers i think this is removable oh my god that's so fast so ah, that's so cool so you can take the inside out and then on the inside you just have another pocket and they've got their cute little labels that they put in things there so you can like just have it like this if you want more space but if you want more organization it comes with a little bag organizer also things come in cute pouches now that's cute and then i also picked up some makeup bits because i just haven't been on glossier in ages and i haven't had any bits from them in ages this i'm going to use straight away because my my, my whole face is dry this is the coconut balm.com comes in the cutest packaging i love it I love the colour of this one and coconut is just like one of my favourites. So this was just a lip balm made for me. But the birthday cake one as well is also absolutely delish. Oh, that smells so good. I'm a dry little prune today. I'm really feeling like my recent like excitement, which has been borderlining on like anxiety because I just feel really overwhelmed now when I'm actually doing anything. Thanks COVID. Not on my own because I now have a blessed life. I know. But it's just more of a fact rather than a moan. I just feel anxiety and that's that as you can see it's really coming out on my face and my skin and my skin's just been like dry and spotty which will serve me right for being so smug about the fact that my skin has been great for the whole of this year i actually had you all have seen in the last vlog i had two spots on my chin two i hadn't had any all year two spots on my chin and then that one popped up on monday and i was like i could cry and i know it's not a crying moment <laughs> it's so over dramatic but things seem to be fine now touch wood so i think it was just me doing too much all in one go you know anyway i need to get some makeup on my face fortunately the hoodie is large enough that i think i'll be able to wiggle out of it without disturbing my makeup which will be great so i'm going in with the by terry cc serum in sunny flash i actually tanned yesterday so this will help match my little wee face up with my body and i'm using a spectrum brush for this i love these brushes the most impractical color but somehow i managed to keep them mildly clean which i'm very impressed with and this brush just blends everything in really quickly and really nicely by the way sorry this is such a state we're just gonna have to deal with this lovely it just gives me a nice little bit of glow and luminosity back to my skin which is currently very lackluster because my skin is bad i'm just sticking with what i know and love so why sell Touche class is going on over the top of that. I have been loving the Essay Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue Moisturizing Makeup SPF 45. This is in the shade 2W1 Dawn, which is great for me if my face is particularly untanned as well. It's a nice like winter shade for me, which I'm still using in May because <laughs> there's no sun. I haven't really been outside at all lately because the weather has been so pants. It's actually really starting to warm up now though, which is lovely we are looking at like the late teens in terms of degrees from now on and i'm i'll take that so yeah i am not using the estee lauder 
today just because I want to make sure that it's not that that's irritating my skin. I don't think it is and I will obviously test that once my skin has like calmed down a bit again but when I'm not sure I just kind of air on the side of caution. Before I do my eyes I am going to go in with some of the Kevin Aquan foundation balm. This is in the shade FB 7.5 and I just use this little MAC brush to stipple it in and I just love using this over my scarred little cheeks. I always take the excess up a little bit and around the blemishes just so it blends really well because I don't want it to be obvious that I've just really heavily covered one area. Okay so I'm gonna conceal. I'm gonna use a new concealer. This is the Glossier Stretch Concealer which I used to love. I've got the shade G7 which I think is gonna be okay, maybe slightly dark, but you know, we're going into summer, so I'll take it. I would normally do this with fingers, well, back in the day. However, I don't love touching my makeup if I can avoid it, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of this concealer. Actually, that shade I would say is bang on. I'm very happy with that. This gives a really nice, like, brightness and like illuminates under the eyes i'm gonna once i've done my eyeshadow do my cleanup and kind of add coverage to this area that gets quite dark here so yeah as you can see it's nice and lightweight it just gives a little bit of like coverage but nothing crazy which is fine because i actually wouldn't say my circles are so dark like i get dark here weirdly but i'm fairly well rested so this under eye area here is fine i actually think they've changed the shades of this concealer i think it used to be like shade one two three and there were way less shades but now there are so many shades which is so great it's such a lovely concealer as well it's really hydrating it's great if you've got i would say dry under eyes a little bit of the charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize this is in the shade rose gold i think and I just use a little flat spectrum brush to pack that onto my eyelids. I actually just ordered some new beauty bits that have launched from a very well-known luxury brand as well, which I am really excited to arrive. I want to see if it's worth the hefty price tag. I'm just blending the matte brown and the little kind of peachy tone over that shadow. I really like the effect this gives. It's kind of like matte, but not matte. And this palette is the classic eyeshadow palette, I think. So I'm just going for like a nice neutral, but kind of sultry eye look, purely because I haven't decided what I'm wearing. And I'm gonna take this like little shimmery color here underneath the eye. And I bring it quite far down, but it's fine because I'm gonna blend out really well once I've done my concealer. And then just adding a tiny little wing and i'm gonna go over that with liner as well to help it stay i had to go very quiet on you there because i was concentrating on the liner aka not breathing so i'm using a new mascara today this is the dior iconic Overcurl dior show mascara this has a very big wand let's pray there's no smudging wow it's definitely like a night out date night mascara and i actually haven't smudged that so i'm very happy with that and then i'm just using the end of the wand to cram through my lower lashes okay that was really nice and easy i like that mascara a lot and it fits really nicely into the pockets in my makeup bag okay i'm gonna do a bit of clean up quickly okay we're actually getting nearer the fun bit i don't know why i always class bronzer and blush as the fun bit i think mainly because it means i'm nearly done using up the last of my <laughs> armani bronzer it's honestly one of the best bronzers i have used in years I'm obsessed. I should have ordered that when I was doing my beauty order earlier. This is the Armani Lip Maestro in shade 103 for anyone who was wondering. And then I'm gonna bronze and blush. I'm gonna be using the Tom Ford bronzer in 02 Terra. Love this bronzer. It's a really nice warm shade and gives this lovely like smoothing effect to the skin. It's one of those powders that really kind of almost takes the texture away when you apply it. Next I'm going to be using a different blush to usual. It's a very old blush so you can't get this anymore and really I shouldn't have this in my collection but it still applies like a dream so I'm going to ignore the fact that it's about seven years old. This is NARS Gina blush and it is the most beautiful apricot blush it is so pretty i've just realized i forgot to add highlighter i've been in this real habit recently of forgetting highlighter i'm going to apply a bit of blush and then do a bit of highlighter and then a bit of blush over the top and hope for the best but really liquids should not be applied after powders i'm going to use this spectrum brush to apply the v highlighter just because it's so precise so hopefully i won't disturb too much of the makeup i've already applied okay that was not ideal but we are making the best out of it so that is my makeup pretty much done and now i'm just going to powder and pray for the best done and it's apparently going to be one of those days where as soon as i've done the last step of my makeup i've managed to get something in my eye now i'm just hoping for the best and that i don't end up smudging all my makeup 
in the process of trying to get whatever is in my eye out. Other than that, what else did I get from Glossier? I feel like I still have things to show you. Oh, I got the new Lit Ultra Shines. I will show you these tomorrow. I'll do a little try on, but how cute is the packaging? And they're really like sheer from what I've seen. So the color payoff is gonna be slightly less intense than what you see in the bullet. And then I also got a boy brow, which I should have used. I should have used but I used my clear one from Hourglass. But yeah, we have a little fresh little boy brow. You saw the concealer. And then we also have Dusk Cloud Paint, which I'm so excited to try. So you'll see like a more minimal, low key version of what I've got on now tomorrow. And I'll use all my glossier bits. I'm very excited for that. But yeah, now I'm gonna do my hair. I'm just gonna put my hair into a bun because we're going for dinner in Brighton. And basically when you live by the sea, just don't bother having your hair down is my number one rule. Like sometimes, I think recently I went for like a beach walk or something, something in Brighton and I was like, why did I bother having my hair done? This is awful. So I'm just gonna have a more like sleek version of what I've got at the moment, sand, pink scrunchie and little bun. And then I'm gonna decide on my outfit and I have a few to show you. So outfit number one is banging, but I've already decided that I think it's too dressy. In the summer, I would happily wear this with like flats and it would immediately make it less dressy. However, I've paired it with just a slight heel and that immediately dresses it up. This is a little black linen dress from Zara, which, wow, my side table is messy anyway, which has this like wrap style to it. It's really, really beautiful. Such a classic wardrobe staple for like nights out. Anytime you want to be dressy, but feel really, really comfortable, you can also pin this so that it just isn't as like cleavage -y. Yeah, I really love it. It's so beautiful. So I'm excited to wear this somewhere, but I just don't think that today is going to be the right occasion, but it's so beautiful. It's new, still has the tag in. I haven't worn it yet. Really simple, but like a real classic, beautiful piece. So outfit number two, I think could be the one and I'm having a bit of a footwear dilemma because I could go either way with this one. So I have my Veja trainers, which actually work perfectly with these trousers because I took these trousers up the other day. I have this pair twice, one pair for if I'm wearing like a high heel and then one pair for if I'm just wearing trainers. This is the shorter pair. So I can go with a trainer or I could go with like a low kitten heel with this set of trousers as well. And I don't know, I don't know. Luckily, I think a leather jacket works okay with this outfit because I really didn't want to go like trench coat vibes. It just felt too smart. Yeah, I love this little combo. I actually just put this on my Instagram the other day. I worked with Jimmy Choo and this was one of my outfits for the reel and I just, Love this little combo. I'm not sure whether to switch out for a body and be a bit more covered up and then go with the trainers and casually, really casually down or go with this or I have a couple more options. So this outfit I love. It is such a beautiful date night outfit. There's like peplum frill. It's just everything. It's got a real low V cut, which if it didn't have the low V cut, I would say this is like a perfect like workwear kind of outfit, not with shoes because open toe footwear in most corporate offices is a no. But a blouse that was like pinned here, I think would be really beautiful. But because of the low V, I've had this earmarked in my wardrobe for a while as the perfect date night outfit. And I love the tailored trousers. I think it elevates it a little bit more than jeans. It kind of gives it this relaxed relaxed feel because they're a little bit baggier but because they're tailored it just makes them a little bit more chic and I really like the relaxed sandal however I'm just not sure I'm indecisive as hell today can you tell basically I just think it's maybe a little bit too dressy for Brighton sometimes I forget the area in which I live and choose to go out I don't live in London so it's just not the vibe and that kind of annoys me I've gone for a very monochrome palette though can you tell me and Ryan are both wearing white and black it's just what I know he's wearing so I'm kind of dressing to match but I just feel like this might be a little bit too frilly but a great one for a food date because show me the food baby you can't. Yeah, this is a no. And the shirt that I also was thinking of wearing with this, which would be so cool, is also just one that I can't try on with you right now unless I really commit to wearing it because weirdly the neckline on it is just really hard to get on and off with a full face of makeup and hair. So I'll pop a picture of it here. The shirt is from Zara. It's like a cropped tie waist shirt. And then I've just got it on with the same black trousers. And it's such a cool look. And I kind of feel like I might go for that just because it's very cool. It ties in well with the outfit that Ryan is going to be wearing. It's not too dressy, but I could wear it with heels. The lobster hands are coming out. So basically it's between the white trousers and the black top or the Zara white shirt and the black trousers. I should have taken the day off today. I should have taken the day off 
today. We have what could be a wild card entry and I think I'm going to go with this one because it's all black so it's pretty much fail safe. It's two of my favourite items in my wardrobe. We have my off shoulder black Zara top and my old reliable Topshop cigarette trousers. I can wear a plethora of shoes with this so I could go for the little kind of minimalist heels. I can go for my and other stories like sandals that are really minimal and then it works with the leather jacket over the top as well and just looks really cool and easy so I'm thinking maybe the trainer but the heel. I'm gonna show you what I got Ryan because I still need to wrap what I got Ryan. Nothing like leaving wrapping gifts until the last minute. I know, I know. So these are my beautiful flowers from Ryan, aren't they just delicious? I've kind of done a really bad job at arranging them, but today has been such a rush. Now there's little uh, woodland animals down there. So this is what I have to wrap up. Obviously the dog has also got him a gift for herself, but for him to unwrap. So we have hard cookies because you know, he loves food. And then I got this casserole dish, which I know he has been after for so long in this really bright yellow color, which I know is the color that he just loved. And I know he was on the fence about it. So I just picked it up for him and I hope he loves it. And then next to it is my Father's Day card for my dad. <laughs> sticker on top shall we maybe let's do two cute okay we are done and your girl needs to get out of here let's go Same size as your head. <laughs> this is a double G and T kids. loves the sun just like me so a little update it is heat wave week in the uk it's been a few days since i last vlogged and i am officially like off for the weekend like this is as soon as the sun comes out it's me gone goodbye i've been reading this book for most of the weekend i've also been gardening my flower beds are they are there i'm so happy with them this is how much i have of the book all left literally on the last few chapters. I'm so excited to finish it. Love Elisa Jewel book. Nala is here, chilling. Oh, you're off. Oh, you want to sit on my clothes, don't you? But anyway, I thought I'd just quickly pop in and explain my absence. It is heatwave week in the UK, so I'm off. Goodbye. <laughs> Always the first one of the year. I'm like, nope, see ya. And it's a bank holiday as well. What could be better? glad that I popped in to tell you that there would be a slight intermission in the vlog because it actually ended up being a little bit longer than I'd originally planned partly because the weather was amazing partly because of this which I wanted to talk to you about today with my glossier bits rolled down the back of my dresser and it took me a few days to get it back out because the dresser is very heavy. In the end, I ended up completely forgetting to ask Ryan to help me and I remembered I had a litter picker which I played the little like crane game with 
genius. Also fished out a ring that I lost down the back of that dresser about a year ago. I've now officially been in this house a year. I think as of last week, which is really exciting. Not so exciting that they send you your like mortgage update of like how much you've paid over the year and it just looks like a really small like in the ocean but anyway it has been the most lovely weather those of you that live in warmer countries will be like why does this chick always talk about the weather but we don't get great weather here in the uk and it's been particularly poor this year so the fact that the weather served us a glorious like heat wave weekend on a bank holiday weekend which for those of you outside of the uk i don't really know what a bank holiday is i've never really like thought about it too much to look into why we have them but a nice treat for some so it was lovely weather and i decided to extend my bank holiday weekend a little we had a barbecue and that was really lovely so we extended our bank holiday weekend into tuesday because ryan was actually in liverpool for the weekend he had a show that he was playing so because he was working we decided to just extend so that we could really enjoy the lovely weather together because he was away for a lot of it so yeah that was lovely and today is my first meeting like in real life meeting it's actually with the same team <laughs> that my last meeting before covid was with so yeah since march 2020 and i'm so excited so yeah i'm up ready raring to go i have just done my skincare so my skin is looking very glowy the spf really like does the most for my skin you know when you see people and you think God, they've just got such great skin and it's always people that I find out religiously wear SPF because some SPFs make your skin look very very good and this SPF makes my skin look very very good. First morning back I always get really nervous to when I haven't vlogged in a while and it's my first morning vlogging back I'm like <laughs> like can't breathe. Yeah I haven't really checked in with you guys since I think it's since mine and Ryan's anniversary basically which i posted about actually on saturday maybe sunday i can't remember which day it was on instagram and the floodgates have now opened with the when are you getting married questions again it's like we hit the two-year mark and it's like nothing else i have ever seen my dms are full and uh it's always a really weird one like i find it bizarre especially with the tradition of like the man asking that people ask you as a woman because i'm just like i don't i don't know and also we need to talk about this because it has been a pandemic people we have been in a panini a panorama panoramic whatever you want to call it we were only together for nine months before covid hit and so we have only really had like nine months of being able to like go out date be like fun free <laughs> we feel like a, i would say like a more mature couple because all we really do at the moment is like stay home sort our houses out yeah so we haven't really had a chance to be like a fun couple and when people are like when are you getting married when are you having kids when are you like buying a house together and we're like still so much that we wanted to do before the pandemic hit and we still want to do those things so guys we need to talk about this i feel like i'm so overjoyed that so many of you are so invested but i do feel like it's going to be a while off because there's just so much we want to do like even down to potentially living in another country for a bit we have been very like seriously discussing that and it's looking like why am I, why do I do this in the viewfinder? I can't, I can't see anything. We've been very seriously discussing that this weekend because it was something that we wanted to do in 2020, like the summer of 2020. We were going to move even just like for a, for a month to test out. So with that in mind, I wanted to fill you in because I just think there's a lot of expectation. Once you hit two years, people are like, come on now. And I just don't think that that is going to be the case for us. So yeah, I'm very intrigued to see what the future holds for us because the thought of potentially moving actually really excites me right now i don't even feel like itchy you know like some people get the itch to move like i don't want to do that but i just think something else is calling us and we both feel it and maybe it's the weather and maybe it's the apparel but it's actually also a very good career move for ryan and i can work from anywhere i am fully on taking advantage of that you guys so it might never happen but some serious discussions were actually had and and not just between us so that was good but anyway just wanted to have that little chat because i feel like there is still there's still so much that we want to do together as a couple and it's better to do that before we're like really 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 tied down but location aside even just on a personal level it will be so lovely for us to just have some time and go out on dates like a normal couple be very like non-tied down to coming home go away on holidays just like do lovely things that we didn't really get the chance to do before the panini we're very fortunate that very early on like really early on we actually went to 
Ibiza twice in a very short space of time due to both of our work commitments. And so we have technically had two holidays in two years, but we actually haven't had a holiday outside of the UK together for nearly two years. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time. Okay, so other things we need to talk about. Number one is makeup bag. I'm obsessed with it. But the other glossier bits that I picked up also obsessed with. I've been using the boy brow literally daily since I opened it up. Testing it out without you, I know. So bad of me. But it was so, so good. I really miss using it along with the coconut balm.com. My god, need to get so many of those. I've been teaming it up with my little SPF lip balm because that is very important. And then these as well. These are the Glossier, what were these called? Ultra lips. Like I just couldn't wait to try them out. I photographed them and and you know, you guys aren't getting a full first impressions because I couldn't wait. I've been using both. I think Lucite, I think that's how you say it, is probably my favorite, but this one is also beautiful as well. Villa is really great. It doesn't look like they don't go on these colors. They're super sheer. Oh, but there's something else that I do need to test and we need to talk about this. Lots of things that we need to talk about in this video. Very important, like this is real <laughs> tertiary compared to the concept of like getting married, having children, potentially moving across the world. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In here, we have some very expensive makeup and I really want to give this a try because I need to know, is it worth it? Is it worth it though? I actually saw oh, that orange. Ooh, I don't normally keep the packaging for things, but I think I might with these because let me show you this. I've got the coffee shakes. So yes, my hands are shaky. Let's deal with it. The anxiety is running high today. And there's makeup. I picked it up from Selfridges. This is Knox in any way gifted, spawned, whatever. I was very intrigued. I actually just saw Anna. Did I say this? I feel like I said this in my head, but maybe I got distracted. I haven't watched her video where she talks about it because I didn't want to like hear other opinions. I want to go in unbiased so we have the rose hermes rosy lip enhancer and then we have the rouge hermes matte lipstick we also have another rose hermes rosy lip enhancer and i think these are in like a pink and a like corally peachy tone and then we have the rose hermes this is a blush compact oh oh right Ooh. i really like it's almost like it reminds me of a one pound coin, which I don't know if they're, <laughs> they're going to appreciate that analogy. Oh, this is pretty. It's not as bright as I expected it to be, but we'll roll with it. That's going to be, I think, a really nice blush tone for me. I used to have a Rimmel one in this kind of tone. This is definitely the step up. So for £58, you'd be hoping it comes in packaging this fancy because these were extortionate. I know it's Hermes. I know. Again, we have the one pound coin. I'm never getting sent beauty things ever again, am I? Oh, that is so pretty. I, I don't, I don't know if I can use this. I've never felt like this. This is like some real old school YouTube beauty shoes. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, they change. Oh, that's so cute. These are sheer, I believe. So this, I don't think it's gonna come off that dark because otherwise that doesn't look as light as it did on the website. But what do you do when the little Hermes thing like runs down? That's really sad. I guess not as sad as Tom Ford lipsticks were. Like you use it and the TF is gone. It's really savage. Okay, so we've, this is the Rouge Hermes. Ooh, ooh. Again, darker than I thought it would be, but this, mm, ah, this one comes up darker on camera, but actually looks borderline lighter in real life. That's very confusing. So this is a matte lip. The other two are like sheer, like basically the extortionate version of the ultra lips by the sounds of it. I'm going to test it out and I'll let you know. Okay, I'm going to get the rest of my makeup on. I'm going to try this. Like, how do I, how do I choose what I'm using? I actually watched a review of the Beef Highlighter the other day and I was so glad that someone said that it smelled nice because the first time I used it, I actually thought I was going crazy because I was like smelling it and I couldn't really smell the product on the back of my hands. But when I was applying it to my face, I was like, something smells really like beautifully vanilla -y. This is just... The most gorgeous highlight just makes my skin look so beautifully glowy. And using this today is going to be so good because I actually used the Charlotte Tilbury resurfacing facial last night, Radiance Resurfacing Facial, which every time I use that mask, I'm like, why do I not use this? Like every day of my life, obviously I wouldn't, I think my face would fall off because it's exfoliating. It's so good. I did leave it on a little bit too long. So I think my skin is slightly annoyed at me today, but my skin always looks so 
good the next day like so smooth so glowy and i have been wearing a lot of like spf and it had really not been doing me any favors my skin was so congested like because i'd obviously been reapplying so much over the course of the long weekend because i'd been outside in the garden so much and i was outside in the garden till late so i was wearing my spf for way longer normally I come into the house and like shut the shutters and keep the house as dark as possible so that i can take off my spf as early as possible and my skin last night was so like bumpy so congested because it's just like layers and layers and layers of spf but i used the mask last night and then put on my sunday riley ufo oil which is like really unclogging and uncongesting so it took off that like top kind of layer of skin it feels like and then the oil can really bring it all out and like clear the skin and my skin looked honestly like it was like a different person's face this morning it was great so yeah a glowy base today it just looks so beautiful because my skin is so smooth okay i'm gonna do my eyes and i'll be back with you for lips and cheeks <laughs> orange tone i actually have alana davison's nude sticks collaboration on the way to me and i cannot tell you how excited i am for that i love a warm orangey tone and alana is 100 going to deliver i know by the way just in case anyone can see from over there i am aware that i need to clean up my eyes my mascara has gone smudgy so cute i also think this cloud paint is going to work beautifully on my lips as well that is so beautiful and then, ooh, that is so nice. Like if you just, mm, so cute. Obviously put a little bit of lip liner on, but just the remains smushed in makes the most lovely, like peachy nude lip. Ooh, very happy with the cloud paint. That was an excellent color choice, if I do say so myself. Now I'm gonna kind of try and rub that off and try out the Hermes lipsticks. I'll maybe do little cutaways now of what everything looks like on the lips. Filler, I'll put that here. And then loose sight. I'll put that here. They're very like nudie, so not a lot going on. I'll show you what this Hermes color looks like here. And then what the matte one looks like. But I really want to try the peachy tone today because it just looks so up my street. Maybe it'll be a bit nothingy. I might just pop a bit of this over my cloud paint as well to set it. I don't really want to disturb the color, but I think it's good to set all of this because it's very, very, very warm today. But anyway, let's find out. Let's find out. Can you see that? It's nice. Yeah, so it's got like a nice warm tone to it. You can kind of compare it to my top lip. The consistency is lovely. The smell, I think there's a smell. Ooh, like a little bit fruity, but like so subtle. So it's just like really warming my lip color. Oh, that was actually beautiful. I don't wanna like this. <laughs> I need to call my bank, we have a problem. Let's see what this blush is saying. I'm gonna, okay. Ooh, that's nice. That peachy tone. Okay, so it comes off a little bit darker than I thought. Because I've got the cloud paint underneath. I don't know if it's a little bit too, the base is a bit too dewy. It kind of took a little, a little while there to blend out. If I had to choose between cloud paint and the blush, I'd go for cloud paint every time. I love that I put cloud paint on and it's so bright. I think if I was going for like a more contoured look, I actually think that Hermes blush would work really beautifully. However, I'm just not rating it. This is more of a winter blush, weirdly. It does not look like a winter blush colour to me. Yeah, it definitely gives a more like contoured look. I'm going to use Nars Gina, which is a very old discontinued blush, but kind of gives the powder effect of the cloud dew in... What shade was that actually? Did I say? Dawn. But yeah, that is Hermes makeup so far. I really like this. I will have to let you know my thoughts on the matte lipstick but i really like this and it's going to be going in my handbag now i need to get dressed i'm wearing my little i don't know if you saw this the other day maybe you'll see it in the what i wore video but i'm wearing a little zara black top and shorts set which is just really great for like throwing on it's got like tie up back so i can put it on and take it off without disturbing my hair which is fab because once i do this bun i don't want to end the makeup i don't want to be disturbing it so i've got a few outfit options i need to decide i'm actually not doing too badly for time either i've got 45 minutes until i gotta go so let's get dressed let's go to brighton oh! 
no one ever comes to Brighton as well for a meeting with me so I'm extra buzzing like I'm always so grateful when people are down this way and they want to go for a meeting it's great it's such a nice day I get to take the car out oh I'm honestly absolutely buzzing so i've decided what to wear you will see this in my what i wore video so i'll go through all of the full details in there but i've got a zara shirt on and zara shorts and then and other stories sandals and my bag is mango i go through all the finer details in the what i wore so you can watch that if you want to go and see all the details but yeah this is my outfit i'm actually running on time today which is fab so i'm gonna get in the car go to brighton and hopefully i'm gonna have a lovely day so i'll check in with you once i get there first meeting of the, the last 18 months and of 2021 is now done I feel like my makeup is melting off of my face I didn't get to use my setting spray and top up my makeup I was actually inside for a long time so I didn't need to it's fine I had a lovely meeting first one back I'm now like ready to get back in the game feeling good it is so warm though my outfit choice today was definitely a good one i'm glad i went with shorts because i was gonna go with trousers but yeah i'm gonna head home now and fingers crossed oh my makeup this eyeliner usually really stays and i feel like it started to melt today it's that warm but i'm gonna get home now hopefully it doesn't take me an hour and a half to get home like it took me to actually get to my meeting the traffic like i didn't really vlog too much because i just wanted to concentrate on work and i was ve like very very stressed after the drive-in there was so much traffic fingers crossed that it doesn't take me <laughs> an hour and a half to get home so i'm back i have a very grumpy little puppy who's being very growly so i had a few bits that i picked up in space nk that were like restocks and they very kindly gifted me these bits which i've been swatching and i'm really excited to show you so we have some spfs from a new brand called ultraviolet i'm not sure if it's a new brand or it's new to space nk but i'm excited to read up about them and i'm very excited to try these spfs i am just like an spf obsessive now so really excited about the lip balm that has spf 50 in it then we've got an spf 50 50. it's called queen screen which i think is really cool and then we've got clean screen which is really hard to say in an spf 30 and that one apparently is probably going to be the best one for my skin because it gets quite congested quite easily so i'm excited to try that one i hope they make this in a factor 50 though because that would make my life the higher factor the better i'd take higher than a 50 if i could i've then also got the new hourglass blush sticks oh my goodness let me show you so these i have been having a little swatch of and no not that one i really thought it was the end one hang on these are all amazing shades but this one you'll know from me doing my makeup this morning that i am so so excited about so i'm really looking forward to getting these on my face i've heard they're best applied with a brush to the product and then the brush directly onto your face and then i've also got this palette from charlotte tilbury this whole collection is so gorgeous got a lovely lipstick from them and then a little lip tint as well this is so gorgeous let me show you my battery is flashing at me i might have to come back to you in a second yeah look at that palette that is just so gorgeous i love the charlotte tilbury looks in the palettes they are just beyond incredible and then we have this lip tint which is just actually in the most gorgeous nude shade they're very very sheer but the packaging is just gorgeous i can't wait to try it and then oh look at that it's so sparkly i'm gonna do a try on probably in my next vlog all of this stuff oh this is so pretty that is just absolutely stunning dun, dun, dun such a beautiful nude shade and then the lip tint which is really gorgeous and just super sheer but gives a lovely like stain to the lips which i think i'll get on so well with oh this is just beyond i'm not gonna put that on because i've got a white shirt on and i will end up with it all over me in a second this blush as well so beautiful such a lovely no makeup makeup kind of blush so i'm very excited to take you through those probably in the next vlog maybe maybe tomorrow morning i think this vlog is very beauty heavy so i'm not sure if everyone's pretty much over it by this point we'll see we'll see good morning everybody it's been a couple of days since i last saw you i actually vlogged yesterday however we are gonna have to split the vlog footage a little bit because this video was getting so long i actually think there would have been potentially another like 10 20 minutes on top of this vlog so if you want to see everything i picked up from space and k on my face that will be coming in the next vlog so keep an eye out for that one if you want to see everything on my face but yeah that is going to be it for this vlog 
because I don't want it to get super crazy long. So I hope you have enjoyed just coming along, seeing a little bit of the past week of my life. I'm just gonna pick the camera straight up and start again today. So I'll see you guys again very, very soon. There's also gonna be the What I Wore video coming up. So do keep an eye out for that if you wanna see full details of everything that I have been wearing recently. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Love you all lots. Love you, bye.